people are being killed by drugs that the Chinese are sending over here, God. So, Lord, put a stop to that. And I pray that we see revival, that God will see righteousness rule and reign. And so, Lord, I do beg you that you would please have mercy upon people. Help us to do more and win people Christ to Christ and get people saved. Encourage the people tonight. Encourage your people. God, we pray you bless each one. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you. You can be seated. You can come. All right. Okay. I don't want you to listen well um, as they minister to us, okay? I pray that God would just get the glory of it all, okay? All right, thank you so much. There's been many times I've let you down Searching for happiness But none to be found To think that the price You paid for me Wasn't in vain all that agony but i'm here to say i had my ups and my downs but i'm now here to stay because the love that i found Amen. Amen. now i'm giving my best Amen. to you lord Amen. all that You shown to me the times you waited so patiently. My heart is filled with love for you. And I know the best thing for me to do so i come to you lord yes. to answer your call not holding back but i'm giving my all now i'm giving my best Amen. to you for me you gave your best at Calvary you are the one that paid the sacrifice so now I'm giving my best I'm giving my life I'll give my life now I'm giving my best to you, Lord, all that I have, I won't withhold, giving my best to you, Lord, all of my heart and all of my soul. everybody stand everybody stand thank you so much for that we're going to get ready to worship god and tithes and offerings okay and get ready 
And uh, while you're getting your offering ready, while we're getting ready here, let's remember tomorrow night, soul winning. Amen. Let's pray that people will get saved. Amen. Pray that the Holy Spirit will direct us and guide us. And thank God we can get the gospel out. Amen. And so you be praying. The Holy Spirit will lead us with direction. And the weather is getting better. Isn't that wonderful? It's wonderful. And so the weather looks like it's going to be much better tomorrow <laughs> than how cold it was. <laughs> um, so thank the Lord so much for this opportunity. Also Saturday, prayer time and, and uh, praying, getting together praying, uh, prayer meeting at 1030 and bus visitation uh, Saturday. Let's pray that the Holy Spirit will, um, will use us for his glory and for his honor. Amen. Okay? All right. And so we're going to get ready ready to give here. And let Brother Brother give you a challenge, and then we'll Amen. we'll go ahead and receive the offering. Give us a, give us a thought, and uh, we'll give. Oh, okay. amen. amen. Praise the Lord. Let's uh, look at a verse here, um, if we will, there. And uh, let's look at the... Uh, Familiar. Let's look at uh, let's look at Leviticus 27. Just been going through my Bible reading this week, and that that one jumped out there. Amen. Leviticus 27. Some of you already know know it already, and uh, about the tithe. And uh, I want to just want to encourage you tonight um, the tithe. Amen. Because that's you know that's you know we don't want to we, we don't want to uh, rob God and tithe and offering. Amen. And so and some people don't know what a tithe is. Amen. And so but the Bible makes it very clear. What the tithe is. So let's look at Leviticus chapter 27 and then the verses, um, verse 20, verse 33. And he should not, and he should not search whether it be good or bad. Um, the Bible says, oh, let's look at verse 32. And concerning the tithe of the herd or of the flock, even a whatsoever passes under the rod, the tenth shall be holy unto the Lord. The tenth, see that? That tenth, that's just the ten percent. You say, people say, well, where you get the ten percent from? There, there it is, right there. The tenth is the tithe. The ten percent there, the tenth. So ten percent, point two, point one zero. How you want to do it? Ten percent, whatever times, whatever you get come through your hands. That's supposed to be your tithe. So hundred dollars times ten percent, point one zero, ten bucks. Amen. Ten bucks. That's ten bucks. So that's that's a tenth of whatever it may be. Amen. And so. Then you start giving above the, above the tithe. The Bible talks about offerings, okay? Then that's when you give to the mission fund, the building fund, the, um, the travel fund, the, the rare Bible conference, uh, the Nehemiah project, things like that. That's above the tithe, amen? But the tithe don't even belong to us. That 10% don't even belong to us. It don't even belong to us. That belongs to God. That's God's. So don't touch that, amen? Make sure you give that 10% to the Lord, amen? Amen. You want to keep that... Keep that job. Make sure you tithe. Amen. Make sure you give. Amen. God can give you more. Okay? So I want to encourage you to do that and uh, make sure you put that on your envelope, uh, your tithe, faithfully when God blesses you. Amen? Amen? Let's go to the Lord in prayer. And that's God bless us tonight and provide every need for us. Father, Lord, you know the needs that we have, dear God. And help us be faithful with the tithe, dear God, because the tithe don't even belong to us. The tithe belongs to you, Jesus. And help us be, be good stewards of it. Help us not to rob you in the tithe. And offerings, about the tithe and offerings. So God help us give above our offerings, give to different type of areas on this envelope, Lord. We can, we can give, dear Lord, our Red Bible Conference coming up, Lord, in a few months here, Lord. Then the Nehemiah Project, Lord. We a lot of things we want to get done around the church, Lord, in, in preparation, Lord, of our of our of our conference, and Lord. Then the speakers will be coming in, the, the pa different pastors that will be coming to preach. Lord, help us, the Lord, to uh, love offerings and things like that. Help us, Father, to think about these things and uh, start giving to it and, uh, and making preparation for the conference that we got in a few months, Lord. It'd be, it'd be here before you know it. It's quickly, swiftly, it'd be here. So help us start praying. Help us start putting money aside to it and, and getting ready for the great rare Bible conference. And we'll thank you for it all in Jesus' name. Amen.
Thank you, Joy. Thank you. All right. Well, Joy's going to come minister to us and sing a solo. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Let's bow our heads in prayer and pray for Joy and Holy Spirit. We pray you help. Help Joy and minister to our hearts and bless the listeners. And uh, you be glorified in it all. Thank you so much, dear Lord, for your goodness. In Jesus' name. Amen. Help us. Though I can see your holy face and your throne in heaven above, it seems so far away, and though I can touch. Can touch your nail-scarred hands. I have a deep, unspeakable joy that makes my faith to stand. Lord, I believe in you. I'll always believe. Though I can see you with my eyes, deep in my heart, your presence I find. Lord, I believe in you, and I'll keep my trust in you. Let this whole world say what they may. No one can take this joy away. Lord, I believe. Born from above. You are God's only chosen one. You're the one and only true way. Way to the Father's heart. You died for all sin. Then you rose. And now live again, conquering death and the grave, so that I might live. Lord, I believe in you. I'll always believe in you. Though I my eyes deep in my heart your presence I find Lord I believe in you and I'll keep my trust in you let this whole world say what they may no one can take this joy away, Lord, I believe. God bless you. We're going to get we're going to get right into it. It's going to have a, a shorter service tonight. We got to meet with our people and get so much accomplished and get things done. And also, I want us to pray. I want to pray for the these Ukrainian people that desperately need the gospel and they need God and and around our country so much going on we're going to pray for our country we're going to have a time of prayer so we'll get right into it thank you so much for ministering to us in the music and um, Nehemiah chapter 13 it's been a wonderful time going through this book winding down in it uh, to chapter 13 
on that day they read in the book of Moses in the audience of the people and therein was found written uh, that the Ammonite and the Moabite should uh, not come into the congregation of God forever. Can you imagine that? Forever. It's a, it's a bad thing to reject God, friend. It's a, it's a bad thing to reject God and go to hell and burn forever. It's sad. It really, it's sad, brother. It's sad, sister. We need to tell them. You never know. You never know. When God says, I'm fed up with it. I'm wiping you off. You, you just messed up. You just, you listen, you rejected the gospel. You rejected God. These people reject, and God said forever. Forever. How about that, huh? Forever's a long time. <laughs> Eternity's a long time, friend. Amen. Amen. Well, I'll tell you what. I thank God we can have everlasting life through Jesus Christ. Amen. I thank God he died, paid the price. Amen. Thank God he rose from the dead. Amen. Thank God we're going to live forever. Amen. And thank God we have a part in the great congregation. Amen. 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 Well, I'll tell you, I, I love the house of God. I couldn't think about living without, without being in the house of God. Yes. Amen. 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 Oh, I thank God for the privilege of being saved. Amen. 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 And, uh, and, uh, but, but they blew it. They blew it. They blew it. They blew it because they met not the children of Israel with bread and with water, but hired Balaam. Hired Balaam. Look what they did. They hired Balaam against them. Look what they did. That he should curse them. Howbeit God turned the curse into a blessing. Y'all study that Balaam and Balak, number 22, 23. Y'all get some chuckles on our Christmas program. We, we, we have some of Balaam, Balaam. I'll tell you. You know, Fred, there's a lot in that story. <laughs> but you know, the, the thing I learned, Fred, I thank God when God blesses us. When God blesses us. Hey, can't nobody curse. God, God, let me tell you something. Don't worry about anybody cursing you when God blesses you. God will turn this thing. Listen, he'll turn it around to a blessing. Amen. That's why you're tied. You ought to get. He said, he, he said he'll, he'll turn that curse into a blessing. And all right. right. He'll turn it to a blessing. You Amen. pray. Read your Bible. Serve God. Amen. Amen. You know, when you're on God's side, you have nothing to fear. Amen. I, I believe there's people that can cast spells. You, you, believe, you don't have to believe if you don't. Know, satanic, demons, and witchcraft. A lot of things be happening. Shh, we need God's blessings. Amen. Said these Satan people was on the plane. They said they were praying. Praying that um, uh, preachers would fall. Fall into adultery. And fall and, and, and their lives would be ruined. And, um, and they're fasting, you know, and all that stuff. And uh, some of them were, were praying in the last election. And uh, they're praying some um, satanic junk. But I'll tell you what. Let me tell you something, friend. When we got God on us, when we got Jesus on us, we, we got the Holy Spirit, we got this word of God, we have nothing to fear. Amen. Tithe and give, Amen. we have nothing to fear. Amen. Isn't that right? Amen. God turned it into a blessing. And I thank the Lord. I look at my life, you look at your life, how God turned something around to such a blessing. Amen. 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 Satan meant it for evil, but God meant it for He allowed it to happen, but God made a blessing out of it. Isn't that right? Amen. God will make this trial blessing. Amen. We need to get to hear that song again. Isn't that right? That's a good one, isn't it? Right. He'll make this trial blessing. Amen. And no matter what it is, he could turn around and make it a blessing. Now it came to pass when they had heard the law, verse 3, that they separated from, um, they separated from Israel and all the mixed multitude. You see? So, you know, when they, they got the wall built, and, and thank God for Nehemiah and all the effort and all the tears, all the heartache and all, but you know, you always find God wants his people to live holy and separated. God wants his people to live differently. Amen. Amen. He doesn't want us to be yoked up with the world. Amen. And I'll tell you, thank God for the wall being built, the protection. But there is, see, see, thank God for those that are, you know, outside the wall. But you know, if, if the devil can't get the people on the outside, he'll try to get people on the inside to do, destroy it from within. The company the company that we hang around with, the mixed multitude. And we, you know, we've got to be very, very careful uh, that we um, sh share. Those that run with the wise will be wise. Companion of fools shall be destroyed. you got to be careful. Amen. You know, bad company. Amen. And that's what happened. They started getting bad company. Started, and, but, but thank God. Thank God they took a stand. If we want revival, there's got to be separation. Amen. There's got to be separation. It's got, and so that's we've got to keep our doctrine straight. We got to keep our standards straight. We got to keep our crowd straight. We got to be careful. Amen. Be careful. Yeah, it's not. It's not what happened to the people. It's who, who they've been listening to, who they've been talking to, who they've been hanging with. Read Galatians. Same old thing. Same old thing. What messed up Solomon? Oh, this uh, out, out, outlandish, wicked woman. And, all bad company. You, you go down the trail. What happened to Samson? Bad company. Go to, what happened to David? Bad company. 
God put it all in the Bible, didn't he? Amen. He put it all in the Bible. Be careful who your friends are. Amen. 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 And thank God this is, we, we, we have a church. We want sinners to come. And we, want, we want them to get saved. And thank God we, we get invitations. And we, want, we want to get them born again. And that's, that's wonderful. But far as um, companionship, hanging out, and I, and I know, I know sometimes you got to be careful. Even with your sports guys, you got to be careful. You start getting friendships with this and playing with this person, playing with that person. And, and I'll tell you, you start getting buddy, buddy, buddy. It, 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 it'll ruin you. You got to be careful right. on your job. You got to be careful in school. Amen. You got to be careful <laughs> on the social network. Amen. 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 And so they had to learn that. We, we, we got to learn that, friend. And there's, there's times that you're just going to have to cut ties and, you're just going to have to say, "Listen, we just can't. We can't do this. We we just we just can't. Um, this doesn't please the Lord." And, but God will give you good Christian friends, and God will give you Christian companions. And, and you, you see, and I'll tell you, it's dangerous. And some of the uh, the saved ones being dating the unsaved ones. I I don't understand it. And, uh, they're not serving the Lord, and it's just a sad situation, you know. So they had to take care of business. Isn't that right? And so uh, thank God for that. And Nehemiah chapter thirteen. So, now it came to pass when they had heard the law that they separated from Israel all the mixed multitude when they had heard the law. None of unlike that, when they have heard the law, okay? When you hear the word of God, Amen. you see, you, you got to listen to it. You, your ears got to be open. The Holy Spirit speaking to you. And that's when it happens. And that's when it's going to happen, when you're able to take that stand. Amen. You get that word of God in you. When you get that word of God in you, that, that's when you, have the, you, you would want the right company. You love this book, isn't that right? Amen. And uh, follow this book. And so, and before this, look what it says: Elishab, the priest, having the oversight of the chamber of the house of our God, was allied unto Tobiah. Underline these allied. Now, allies. Let's talk about allies. America's in bad shape, man. Our, our dear friend is in heaven, Pastor Jack Hiles. But years, years, years ago, he was screaming, yelling, "Be careful, with Russia!" Be careful with allying, be an ally. Be careful with yoking up, screaming and saying, be careful with the communists. Amen. Be careful. Amen. You ought not to yoke up. You can't trust them. Amen. He's screaming and yelling. Amen. Travel around America. Amen. Try to get our politicians to wake up. Uh, it's come to haunt us. Look what Putin's doing. He'll, he'll yoke it up. That's right. come on, and also China. He said, be careful. Your buddy, buddy, depending on China. Right. On, Communist China. Right. Friend, I told you I'm sad in what's happened to Ukraine. But we need to be even more sad in about 100,000. I said, I believe about 100,000 has been killed by drugs that China is smuggling in our country. 100,000. And I, I believe it's maybe about 20,000 in Ukraine. And it's sad. I'm, I'm sad and like you are. But what about the millions of babies being slaughtered in our own country? We got much to pray about tonight. Amen, amen, amen. Uh, I, I'm like you. I, I'm saddened to see what we're seeing in Ukraine. But we, we, we're starting to buddy buddy with the wicked, with communism, with socialism, partnering, bad company, bad company. And we find that um, having the oversight of the chamber of the house of our God was allied unto Tobiah. Yoking together with Tobiah. And we're finding that our churches are being corrupted because they're being allies with liberals. We are independent fundamental Baptists. Amen. We, 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 we are independent fundamental Baptists. We, 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 we're supposed to have high standards. We, we're supposed to fight. And, and we're supposed to want to hang around the right preachers and pastors and Amen. churches. And, and, and we got to be very careful, friend. Got to be very careful. Amen. Running with the wrong crowd. And be careful with the books. I've heard so much about the books that you read. Be very, very careful. Because these books will, if you're not, if you're not careful, will mess you up. You start ally and getting together with the wrong group. So be careful with the books you read. Be careful what you watch on, on TV. Be careful what you yoke up with. Be careful what you give your money to. You see what I'm saying? See, they built the wall. Here comes Satan. He's trying to destroy again. Oh, they fought, they fought, and thank God they watched, they prayed, they fought the enemy with their weapons. They built the wall. Thank God for it, Amen. trying to protect their families. Amen. Here it goes. Leadership, corrupt leadership, corrupt leadership. And that's what happened here. 
uh, with the Tobiah. And he had prepared for him a great chamber. Look at that verse 5. Prepared a great chamber. This must have been on a beautiful house, a beautiful dwelling place, a beautiful part of the dwelling place. Where aforetime they laid the meat offerings, one time the meat offerings, the frankincense, and the vessels, and the tithes, and of the corn, the new wine, and the oil, which was commanded to be given to the, this was supposed to be given to the Levites. This was supposed to be given to the singers. This was supposed to be given to the porters. And the, the, this is supposed to be for God's, God's leaders. And this wicked man, this liberal, <laughs> having the chief, having the chief place to live in. Beautiful, beautiful chambers, friend. Furnishings. Lavish living. He was living it up. Robbing from the ministers of God. This wicked man was taken away from godly people to live, could you imagine, in the chambers of the house of God. Sad, isn't it? Amen. Sad situation, isn't it right? Amen. It's amazing. When leaders are gone, how things could fall apart and allow this garbage. I thank God, uh, you precious people, you're such a blessing as we're gone on vacation and, and, uh, and went to the conference. I want to say thank you so much while we're away. Amen. Thank God there was no Tobias coming in. Brother, brother, my sister, pastor wouldn't have it. Amen. But Tim wouldn't have it. Amen. Thank God for you guys. Amen. You helped me out. Amen. Thank God for this church. Amen. And sometimes when the leaders go, sometimes the Tobias come in. But I thank God. I praise God we don't have that problem here. Amen. Amen. But th that's what happened. Nehemiah, tell, uh, as he was um, away, can you imagine to come back and find what, what in the world's happening here? How could you let this happen? Isn't that right? Look what it says here. But in all this time was not I at Jerusalem. Look at that. For in the two and thirtieth year of Artaxerxes, look at verse six. Our, 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 our Artaxerxes, king of Babylon, came I unto the king. And after certain days obtained I leave of the king. And I came to Jerusalem and understood of the what? Verse seven. And understood and understood of the what? Of the evil that what? Elisha did for Tobiah and preparing him a what? A chamber in the courts of the house of God. He's, he's very upset, friend. He put all this work. He put all this work, all this work into this. And look what took place. And friend, I want to tell you, it's a sad situation. I see this all around America. Pastors that have given their lives and built great churches. Somebody came in and just killed the thing. That's, that's sad. Happened all over America, friend. It's so sad. And corrupted the place. That quick, how the devil came and killed him. You better thank God for what we have, friend. Amen. Well, thank God for Sunday school teachers trying to take a stand. Amen. Thank God for your pastor taking a stand. Amen. Because before you know it, the devil liked to come in and, and destroy the whole thing. And that's what he was doing here. But Nehemiah seen it. He got a hold of it. Isn't that right? Amen. Look what he says here. And it grieved me sore. It sure did. He was grieved. Nehemiah, was, he put his life into this thing, friend. You remember chapter 1, he wept? You remember chapter 1, he prayed? You remember chapter 1, he fasted? You know how he got, the, you know how he got together? These old wicked heathens tried to destroy him and try to hinder the work. He fought. That tells you that devil coming back around, isn't he, friend? But he grieved, he grieved me sore. Verse 8, he grieved me sore. Therefore, I cast forth all, I cast forth all the household stuff of Tobiah out of the chamber. Amen. Friend, you ever, you, ever watch, you ever watch these people? Amen. Friend, friend, you pass by their houses? What do, you, what do you call it? What do you call it? The convict? How do you say the word? Eviction. Is that how you say it? <laughs> Brother, sister, you see it. They got stuff all over, the, all, over the, all, all over the yard. They're thrown all over the yard. That's what they did to this guy in the house of God. They had, they, this, this wicked man. They threw, he threw all his stuff out. I mean, threw it out. He's mad. Amen. I mean, <laughs> his belongings, brother. Amen. I've heard of boyfriends and girlfriends fighting, husband and wife fighting, throwing their clothes out. <laughs> Nehemiah. Nehemiah's mad. Amen. Amen. We don't want the devil hanging around the house of God. Amen. Amen. We don't want the devil taking possession. We don't want the devil's crowd taking possession. Amen. 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 That's what we ought to do. Amen. With this praise, worship, junk, 
dancing around with the devil's music. We ought to throw it out, my brother. Throw it out, my sister. And this old type of uh, service of lavish, of worldliness and uh, ungodliness. We, we ought to throw a fit and throw it out. Amen. All the false teaching. All the, all the stuff going on today. Amen. All that we see in the house of God. Yeah. Women pastors now. Women, First Timothy 2 it says, uh, women should not serve authority than man. Teach and preach. And, and you know what the Bible says, First Corinthians chapter 14. Don't supposed to be doing the prophesying and the preaching. And, uh, and these ladies coming in and taking over. <laughs> brother, when somebody need to get mad, throw it out. Shouldn't be going on in the house of God. Bringing wine in the house of God. I've, I've been hearing the bringing wine in now. Bringing wine. Bringing in beer. And one of them said, you can't have any wine if you don't tie The alcoholic wine. That's wicked. <laughs> That's wicked, friend. Amen. Throw it out! Amen. Somebody ought to throw a fit. You know, right? Amen. You know we, need, we need more Nehemiahs. We need, we, we need more Nehemiahs so they throw fits. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Throw fits. Isn't that right? Amen. And uh, they threw, 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 threw this stuff out. And... Um, and so he's grieved. Therefore, I cast forth all the household stuff of Tobiah out of the chamber. That's what it says. Amen. Cast forth. Then I commanded that they cleanse the chambers. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah. Look at verse 9. Then I commanded that they cleanse the chambers. And thither brought I again the vessel of the house of God with the meat offering and the frankincense. Look what, look, look what Nehemiah did. This is wonderful reviving time. This is wonderful reviving. Cleanse the chambers and yeah. clean house. Make, a, make the house of God clean. I, I just thank the Lord so much for the precious ones around here. Thank God for you. You've been um, cleaning up. I want to say thank you. Some, some this afternoon here cleaning Sister Barnett's roof and, and uh, Elijah and Shia. Yeah, but yeah, thank God for you others that, that help and, and around here. Thank God your answers help out and others. Uh, Burley's, I, I don't want to uh, start saying the wrong uh, names. And, uh, start naming names but I start to name them but thank God uh, so much Amen. thank God for what you're doing Amen. and uh, straighten up the rooms there Brother Rod and Joy uh, doing some um, straighten up uh, I hate to mention names but all, all of you just, just thank the Lord so much Amen. want to clean here and get, to get, some, get some things clean Amen. Thank, thank the Lord for you Amen, Amen. and uh, clean, clean, clean up straighten up and, and praise God beautify the place Amen, Amen. Amen. I thank God for you. The nurseries. I want to make it clean and, and uh, clean, cl cleanliness. Amen. Amen. And th thank God for it. Amen. That's God. Amen. That's God at work. Amen. Isn't that right? Amen. That's God at work. Thank God. So much you to help out. Clean. Uh, we're going to get the vans cleaned up. <laughs> get, the van, get the buses. <laughs> clean up. Amen. Clean up. Clean up our lives. Clean up our own lives. Isn't that right? Amen. Clean up. Clean, clean our hearts with the word of God. Amen. Amen. Holy place. Amen. You know right? That's what he wanted to do. He wanted to make a difference. Clean it up. And then, and then I came in and, and they cleansed the chambers. And thither brought I, brought I again the vessels of the house of God with the meat offering and the frankincense. Bring the vessels back into the house of God. Let's bring them vessels. Let's bring them bodies. Let's bring them temples. Let's bring them bus kids. Let, let's bring them back. Let's get their lives clean. Let's use them again. We need vessels. We need singing vessels. We need the singer vessels. We need teaching vessels. We need preaching vessels. We need vessels on the piano. We need vessels in the orchestra. Vessels of God. They, they may have been gone back, but let's bring them back. They may go out of the house of God. They may out be out there backslidden, but no, no, sir. No, sir. These vessels are not to be used for the devil. No, sir. We must bring them back to the house of God. And these vessels of honor, there's vessels of honor and there's vessels of dishonor. Of the apostle Paul said in the house of God. In the house of God. There's vessels of gold. There's vessels of silver. There's vessels of wood. There's ve but let's be vessels of gold and silver. Let's get them back. Thank God for these Sunday school teachers. You're helping me. Well God's help. We're going to get them back. Bring them back in the house of God. And the whole wicked world want to use these vessels for their, for their wickedness. No, we want to get them back. Nehemiah says we got to get them vessels back. Let's get them back. 
a vessel of honor. Amen. That's what we ought to be. I want God to be able to use this vessel. Don't you want God to use you? Amen. And then you can go to physically other things that are not human vessels. Hey, are you listening? They, they may not be human vessels. But I just believe that what we have around here in the house of God should never be used in the wicked world. Amen. 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 I don't believe there's a cup. I don't believe there's a glass. I don't believe there's plates. I don't believe if they want to use it for their wicked nightclub dance, you can't, no, you can't use one of them. You say, we'll pay you a thousand dollars. Keep your thousand dollars. You, you say that they'll pay you a million dollars. Well, maybe a million. Not just joking. <laughs> Keep your million. <laughs> We're not going to participate with your wickedness. These, this pulpit, this piano, I don't care how much they want to come in here and use this as a dance hall. No, no, sir. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. And I appreciate every one of you that um, you, you, you see it as holy things. You see it as holy, holy things around here. These are holy things. I want to take care of God's wonderful possessions. And you, you, ought, to, you, ought, you, ought, to, you ought to encourage her. You ought to tell her. You ought to compliment her. And I said, would, would you please... This, this drink you're bringing in this auditorium. I said, would you take it out? And you, she just went. She didn't rebel. She went out and threw, threw, threw the liquid uh, stuff away, the, the drink. Yeah, whatever, be soda, whatever. This is the, this is the auditorium, the sanctuary. This is, these are God's vessels around here. These are God's possessions. We, we respect this auditorium. Let her, let her know. They'll, they'll, you know, you did. Yes, she, there was no rebellion. There was no, there was no bad spirit, and just realize she brought this stuff in the auditorium. Respect. We, I, we said this is a holy place. Amen. Nehemiah realized this was a ho these were holy things, Amen. and there I am. Amen. And we ought to want to keep them clean, and there I am. Amen. Amen. And I perceive that the portions of the Levites had not been given to them. Verse ten. For the Levites and the singers that did the work were fled every one of them to his field. They ran. They ran. That's so sad. Sunday school teachers, I thank God for the good job you're doing. Keep it up. Keep it up. You throw a fit. I haven't been noticing that. Somebody been trying to get them to run from here. Somebody been bullying them. You take a stand. Trying to hurt their feelings. And that's sad how many people run. They're running away, scared to come. They were scared, fled from the house of God. Some bullies, some wicked person, chase them away. Let's go get them back. Amen. Let's go get them back. Amen? Amen? Let's go running after them. Amen. Let's let them know we're, we're cleaning up the place. Amen. Oh, wicked Tobias are gone. Amen. 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 The troublemakers are gone. Yeah. Amen. But we ought to care for them and go after them. They fled everyone to his field. Then contended I with the rulers and said, Why is the house of God what? Forsaken. I love this. And I gathered them together and set them in that place. Nehemiah made a difference. And I want to make a difference. Well, God's help. You pray for me. I'm going to pray for you. And I know there's certain ones you want to go after. You want to put people in their place. Get them back in their, in their class. Amen. Well, God's help. We can make a difference. Amen. Let them know. Let them know we care. Let them know we love them. A phone call. A visit. I've been, uh, I'm so excited about it. I've been seeing the spirit of wanting to get out there on the field on Saturday. We've been, I've been seeing more of it. Amen. We, we want to get out there and make some contacts. Amen. 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 You want to get them in their place on the bus, on the van. You want to get them in a place in your class. 
And I'm excited about what, with God's help, what, what he's going to do. Amen. Make a difference. Amen. Nehemiah made a difference, friend. Amen. And, 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 he, and, he, and he, he glorified God in doing this. And we got to do it for God's glory. And, and that's got to be our main motive, to glorify God. Isn't that right, friend? Amen. 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 Amen? We want him to get the glory out of their lives. Amen. And we want them to serve them. And we want them to be in their place. Amen. Amen. I look back at my life, there's somebody that made a difference in my life. Amen. Really, I wouldn't be standing here tonight preaching if it wasn't for certain people that made a difference in my life. Amen. Amen. They invested in me. Amen. 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 And Nehemiah invested. And he made a difference. Isn't that right? And I gathered them together and set them in their place. Then brought all Judah, then brought all Judah the tithe of corn. He, he, he caused a revival. Then brought all Judah the tithe of the corn and of the new wine and the oil unto the treasuries. Look at that. Look at the difference he made. People started giving. Isn't that wonderful? People start contributing. And I, I believe by your life, by you taking a stand, by you investing your life in others, by you letting God use you, People will tithe, people will give. And I, I think about the spirit of giving that we're seeing around our church. There's no way we could accomplish what we're accomplishing if it wasn't for people giving. Amen. 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 And thank God for every one of you leaders, every one of you teachers, every one of you that's setting the pace for them. Amen. Amen. And they're following along. Isn't that wonderful? Amen. And to the treasuries. And I made the treasuries over the treasuries. Shelmiah the priest and Zadok the scribe and the Levites Bediah, and next to them was Hanan the son of Zechariah the son of Methaniah for they were counted faithful Amen. underline this for Amen. they were counted faithful Amen. and their office was to distribute unto the brethren faithful thank God for faithful people Amen. Amen. and God has blessed our church with faithful people and I thank God for every one of you and you're, you're in your spot you're doing your work and I thank the Lord, whether you be, uh, uh, whatever you're doing, the finances, whether you, whatever you're doing, and the Sunday school teacher, whatever you're doing, and on, on the singing and the choir, whatever you're doing, I want to say thank you for the faithfulness that I see. And it, it's, it, it's, just, it's just wonderful to see you in your spot tonight. Amen. Amen. Being where you're supposed to be. Amen. Seeing you faithful, whether it be the choir practice or whatever it may be, out soul winning, knocking on doors. It's encouragement to the preacher's heart. Amen. Amen. To see people faithful. Amen. They're going to be there. Amen. They're going to, and you can trust them. Amen. And you can depend upon them. Amen. 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 Isn't that wonderful? Amen. I thank the Lord so much for that. And, and God blessed them. And God's blessed us. And we ought to thank God for faithful people that serve Amen. the Lord. Amen. Week after week after week. Amen. Month after month. Year after year. Amen. Give God the praise for it. Amen. And there I am. Amen. Look what he says here. Remember me, oh my God. Look at verse 14. Remember me, O oh my God, concerning what? This. And wipe not out my good deeds that I have done. Underline this. For the house of my God and for the offices thereof. Would you underline that? Remember me. There's nothing wrong with you saying. Lord, would you remember me, what I did for my Sunday school class? Lord, would you remember me, what I've done for my bus route? Lord, would you remember me? What I've done for soul winning. Lord, would you remember me Amen. for my tithing and my giving? Lord, would you remember me for whatever it is, orchestra, whatever you may be, cleaning, whatever you may be. Remember me, oh my God, concerning this, and wipe not out my good deeds that I've done Amen. for the house of my God. Amen. Amen. I've decorated, I've cleaned, I've cooked, I've prayed. And for the offices thereof. Nothing's wrong. What you're saying Lord. Just please remember. Amen. Wipe not these good deeds away. Amen. Because I've done it for you. I've done it for the house of my God. And circle the house of my God. This is the house. Amen. Of my God. Amen. This Nehemiah project. I want you to remember. It's all because it's his house. Yes. Amen. And we must not forget of the progress that we've made. 
we must, must not forget. I remember we tearing up this carpet, and the old carpet, and putting it, got the new down. I remember the pews, they had no padded on it. They put the padded on the pews. Beautiful curtains and decorations and all around us. I remember we didn't have no piano. Needed a piano in the house. The pulpit, the pulpit. Oh my, I can go on. And the doors around the house of God. Oh, thank God. Um, the fence around the dumpster and all that. And you know, we must visualize the parking out here in the parking. We want to get a nice paved one looking beautiful. Visualize it. Uh, brand new windows and, and making the brick more beautiful and, and uh, drop ceiling. Just imagine things. Imagine things. That new stove in the house of the God, uh, of our God. And you're cooking on it. Helping, feeding people. Thank God for all these things. The van. The, the new van. The, the bus. Um, uh, the, all these van repairs we want to get. Visualize repairs. Where is it going to come from? Where is it going to come? It's going to come from God's people. It's going to come from God's provisions. It's going to come from God. You, you know, we, all of it is for his glory. We first look at, come up the stairs and look at the wonderful um, pillars and of how beautiful and up up front <laughs> I'll never forget uh, we are uh, so quickly it was coming upon us our conference it was that weekend and everything was torn 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 down torn apart in the front in the front entrance all that siding was those guys they worked on the hour and got it all up with the letters up there and I said Lord let it not storm I don't want to have our conference and all that stuff be torn down looking so raggedy. Amen. I thank God there was no big storm Amen. and it looked so beautiful. Yes. Amen. 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 That's because this is God's house. This is God's house. Amen. Amen. And a group of people, we gather together. And the beautiful painting out front. You remember all that? Painting and all that. You, you, you see what I'm saying? God did it, didn't he? Yes, yes. The beautiful painting of the entrance of the Amen. steps. Amen. Isn't that wonderful? Amen. Amen. We do it for his glory. We got March. We got April. March is just about going. We got April. We got May. And then June's here. So really... It's not a lot of time. We want to get some things done. But I want you to pray. And I want you to pray hard. That we get more done for his house. By the time of our rare Bible conference. And I thank God for you precious ones. You're starting already right now. Start already. I know I, I know my wife. She's Thank God for her. Thank God for you, sweetheart. That's on her mind. That's what we've been talking about this week. I've got to get down to the house of God. I got to get down there. So got to get some things done. Amen. That's on her mind. Amen. 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 Thank God for you helping her. Amen. Amen. Every one of you Amen. stirred up about this matter. Amen. We've gone through this Nehemiah. It sure has helped us. This Nehemiah project. Amen. Let me hear you say Nehemiah project, Brother Chris. Let me hear you say Nehemiah project. Amen. Nehemiah project. Amen. He's been praying about that Amen. thing. I'll tell you, he's been praying about the Nehemiah project. And I want you to be praying that these next weeks coming up, these, these couple of months, Amen. we'll see money coming in yes. that we may get so much accomplished. Amen. God's going to bless us. He's going to help us. Amen. I don't know how we're going to, I don't know where exactly where it's going to come from, but God's going to help us. All this matter. Let's bow our heads in prayer. Amen. Father, I thank you for these precious ones that want to get some things done. We could not get it done without God's people. Nehemiah made a difference. He made a difference, Father. And it was on his mind what he wanted to do for the house of God. Lord, remember these precious people. Remember us, Father. Remember the preaching. Remember the teaching. Remember the singing. Remember the giving. Remember the work that is done. Lord, there's so much work we want to get done. And it's just a short amount of time. We want to get some stuff done downstairs. We want to get some stuff outside and 
Oh, Lord, we need your help in these matters. I pray that you help us all. Help us tonight. Father, help us. Heads about, eyes are closed. Heads about, eyes are closed. There's so much to pray for. You can pray where you're at if you'd like, but some might want to come to the altar. If you want to come, you can come. But I want you to pray for our country. I want you to pray. I, I believe it is said 100,000 have died of overdose of drugs. These are families. These are brothers and sisters and moms and dads and children. I'm sorry what happened to Ukraine, but there's more people dying in our own country. Seems like people, some people are not concerned. And of course, they're dying in Ukraine. I want you to pray for them. It's no light thing. Getting bread, people are shooting them. 